guys, we are here with another video. I added a ton onto the base. And we just tamed a Sarko. Who we're naming Joker. <laughs> because he literally looks like the freaking Joker. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go get my... T-Rex. Thunder. Sorry if I'm slow. I'm really tired. Come on, Thunder. Because I don't know something. Sorry, there's a flying thing. I'm just gonna call her Rexy. I think I always call my first female Rexy Rexy, unless they have like a color that gives me a name right off the bat. Thunder! today, or in this episode, still the same day as the previous episode. Dang it! Okay, they need to make it so the, they did update the pathfinding when they remastered the game, but they still need to upgrade, like the birds and stuff. They need to make them so they fly over your head, not right behind you. I don't know how that works though, so just an idea. If you can get the train it on to fly up higher above you, that'd be nice. Because he's following Rexy, but he's trying to go up her butt. <laughs> Literally. You don't need to follow her butt. Just need to follow her. I don't know. Can you have more than one hitbox? I think you can. I'm sure you can. I don't know anything about Dave for a little bit. I swear they've upscaled this these maps too. They just seem so much bigger. It's either that, or there's just so many plants. I can't see anything. Just 
just trying to get rid of these. Pretty sure there's a cliff in front of me. Why? Get the fuck out of my face. Little bastard in front of my mouth for days. Literal days. Okay. He must be stuck. See, this doesn't happen nearly as often in this game as it does with the wolf. Because normally they can pathfind around rocks, but he must be wedged. Which is usually the exception when they can't get around, is when they're wedged. He's, he was wedged. He was wedged in a tree. And that's another reason why I'm taking out all the trees, because then all he has to do is pathfind around the stones. It really helps. Some of these dinos, they just move so slowly. This is better. This is just fun to have a break, ride the dinos around. Before I went and got the Rex and Sarko, I had been building for about five years. I just realized I was going to have to away. I'm not lagging, by the way. That's the stupid Tyranodon. He keeps crossing in front of me. I mean, my frames is at 38, but that I'm, what's causing my Rex to stop every couple seconds is thunder getting right in my freaking way. Oh, hello. What I mean, he just keeps flying into my path. Thunder, stop riding my butthole! Rexy's butthole. I left Joker behind. He's pathfinding. Just wait for it. Isn't that just amazing? That's one of the things I hated the most about Evolved. 
Is how stuck your effing dinos would get every five mother freaking seconds. But now they don't do that anymore. They they go around all that shit. It's amazing. So if you're wondering what this dino is, it's an eerie dino. There's a mod there. An eerie dino's mod. Really cool mod. They're not just pretty rainbow, they've got some buffs too. It also makes the cowardly dinos not cowardly. It's like, if you find an eerie dodo and punch it, it's gonna fight back. Same goes for the other cowardly dinosaurs, like the Parasaur, what else, Trinodon. They'll fight back with their eeries. This fat fart keeps running out of his damn! Stimulant. I need to make stimulants. We're on top of the world. Okay, how do I roll? Not really. Over there is the top of the world. Joker! Did he get wedged? No, nope, he's still pathfinding. Is it too steep for you, bud? See, if he can't get up the rocks, he'll just try to find a way around them. But... Thunder! No! <laughs> See, this is just too hilly for him. There is no fucking way that just happened. <coughs> oh fuck sakes. I guess I'm getting a Tyrannosaur some other damn time. Thunder was following. He's not following anybody anymore. Thunder, come on. I guess I'm getting a new Rex later. That absolutely failed. I'm too fat for Thunder. You guys would probably scream at me if I dropped those saddles, is that right? Did I mis make a mistake eating those eggs? <laughs> Got a bitch ton of this as it is. I haven't used the Sarko since Evolved. It's making me want the Dino Sutures. But the reason why I haven't used it is because of the tail bug. I think he 
can use your herbivores to pull off your leeches, or you just jump into the fire. Stop pushing me. I didn't try to do the right click attack. I'll try that next time. Okay, I need to. He'd probably move faster if I had his carrying me. She had a gallop to the diner of the club. For the spring. Or like a toggle to add, or like a toggle to turn on gallop. But it takes more stuff. Thunder, gosh damn. Get the frick out of the way. We're slowly getting home. <laughs> How was I thinking? He could have just flew over everything. I could have left him at five. Movement speed, er, follow distance. Ah, oh, this will make it a lot faster. I'm so stupid. I think of this stuff like way later. <laughs>
don't want them throwing the beavers. I got a lot of the base more built. Shoot, you don't belong here. Eventually the base will take up this whole area, but this is what I got so far. Now I gotta find a spot for the Joker. I could probably actually just... I'm gonna just chill here in the water. My croc infested waters. I mean, he doesn't have an oxygen meter, so he can just chill here. Okay, let's give you a tour of what we've done so far with the base. Um, we moved some stuff around, of course. Added some doors here. Um, this is still in work in progress. This is the elevator shaft. Um, there will be an elevator, a small elevator platform that will go up. But that's not our top priority because we haven't even gotten to the second level yet in terms of building. So we got a hide rack. Pelt rack, silk rack, I don't think we'll even need that for a while. We might even need a mod to make that useful. Um, healthy feeding trough. This is a mod too. It makes the troughs look like they've got real food in them and not just mush. Um, I call this flyer I called this flyer's landing. Cause Still don't know what I'm gonna do here. I was thinking about putting some chini stand or display stands here. Put some cryo dinos on them. This is our forge area. There's wood. There's gonna be ore here. This is where the ingots are gonna go. I wanna eventually find a place for the smithy, but yeah, I don't know. Ooh, that's actually an idea. Okay. I have an idea for the smithy later, but this is the fertilizer, um, and then we got a bunch of these pathways. There's going to be more scattering all over this place. Um, I need to get some otters, but I made this otter pit, and I plan on putting them in here and letting them wander. And so it's all fenced off inside, and then a little less domey area. And down here is sealed off, of course. And this is a deeper spot. Um, I could probably put just like crocs and stuff in this area because I don't think swimmers can swim through that. Even the small ones. Um, I want to try something eventually because you can fill up the chambers those tech chambers with water, I think. I think you can fill up the water, and I was thinking we can, like, seeing if I can make, like, an aquarium or a transport tube that goes across. Anyway. Lord. Um, I put some, made some, like, Im improvised scaffolding so it doesn't look like this is just floating. So. Yeah. Um, I'm still working on that. I was going to make like a flyer pen up there. I thought that was a red drop for a second. I mean, it has a red highlighter on it, but I bet I thought it was like a red, red drop. 
but it, it's a white drop with a red thing. Um, I was gonna put a flyer pen up there and maybe some barracks for like bedrooms and stuff. And I eventually want to get a, some decor mods so I can, you know, decorate this place. But the construction is still nowhere near done. So we've got. I don't even think that rock is able to be taken out. But we got a water tank here. Um, the water intake right here. We can access it right here. But the water intake, I had or I had to put a water tank here because these were just a tad too far away from the intake. The intake. So we got some citronials and then we got mezzo berries, narco berries, azul berries, stem berries. And I found a food mod that makes it so you grow like literal like crops, like wheat and tomatoes and stuff like that. But I'll put that one in a little later when I'm farther with the base build. So but I, yeah, I made little area balcony areas. These, oh, that's what I was gonna, I was gonna put a roof over this, but I haven't done it yet. I might not though. I'm not sure. I'm probably just gonna leave this part open and figure something else out for this spot. Maybe I can make like this a dining area or something. I don't know. When I'm when I have an idea for something, it's right there in my mind. Like I can see it. So, but up here, I can see in my mind. Of course, I'm visualizing a, a pen, like a bird pen or flyer's pen. And then, like, maybe you go further back, and there'll be bedrooms and, like, a balcony over there. Definitely want to put... So the elevator is going to come up this. I'm still trying to figure out... I'm probably going to have to free place the elevator just to get it perfect. But I also have to... What I've been doing... I don't have any pillars on me, I dropped them. I've been using the pillars to make sure, try to keep all this lined up to the best of my ability. So when I built this patio here, I pulled pillar over here, pulling down. This was before I built that part. And then I put foundation here so it would lock it onto the grid. So it stays on the same grid as everything else, basically. Um, so I gotta figure out, um, the elevator's probably gonna be done way later because I need to lock all this to the grid to make sure it's all connected. I've got, like, some, o a little bit of OCD, and it also makes it easier when you have everything locked on the same grid instead of sprawled out, um. So, I still need to finish this. I was going to put black pearls here, and then um, down below there's, I was going to put three barrels, or not barrels, uh, bins. Let me show you. Visual storage bins. They look like these, but there's, one's got narcotics, this one's got paste. And then this one's going to have spark powder. It's not full yet. But there's some for like angler gel bug repellent. I was thinking putting tree sap. Hmm. Well, that one's tricky. Anyway. So there's a ton of these. And there's like so much you can do with them. 
I was thinking eventually when I make the like the room where we cook stuff I'm gonna call it the science room or whatever we'll put these are if you put these inside the pantry they will preserve it when I tried to use the pantry the spark powder wasn't working So, yeah. Anyway. Ooh, me track. I've got to work on a kitchen at some point. Um, like, I, this is nowhere near finished. This um, frontal area will be more like once I get more built on, I'm going to put like a fireplace somewhere. Maybe a fireplace over here with a couch. Some trophies. We already got first aid core. <laughs> oh yeah. Forgot about this mod. Sleepable beds. I could have slept this whole time. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, this is all a work in progress. Um, I will get more built, more done. So far, what I've got done with the base, um, I'm gonna, what do you call it? I'm gonna put like some ceilings up there and put the smithy up there and the fabricator so I can get them out of here. I gotta figure out where to put this. Oh, and there's also going to be like a back way path here that'll go around the thing there. Hmm. There's just no good spot for this painting thing. to the fertilizer. That's in the way of the door. It just doesn't look good there. It's clipping. I don't think that looks good. What about this? Thing. Damn it, my OCD's kicking in. Now it's saying put something here. go in there. Ow. My hair is poking me in the eye. I need to get my hair cut. Ooh, can we put bamboo in there? This one's... That is not what I meant to do. 
so apparently you just make a water spout. Use this stupid thing, I forgot. Wait a minute. I think I need the plant pot, like, in my hands. I literally, the last time I used this was when Scorched Earth came out. So I'm trying to remember how to, <laughs> how to do this. I gotta eventually find a spot for those two. Uh, let's try this again. I want to put one of these in it. There we go. How nice. Yeah. Okay. Me likey. Well, we know what we're doing for the next hour. <laughs> You can even uh, change the size of it. What? No. Oh, you can't increase the foliage. You can decrease the foliage size. Or you can. That looks nice. Okay, well, I'm going to end the video here because I'm about to go ape shit on the decorations. And knowing myself, I will be taking hours to do this. So in the next video, you'll see updated base progress. So hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. And say goodnight, Joker. He doesn't want to. Bye. Hope you all enjoyed.